Germany has been hit with a wave of strikes from trains to airport workers. Many have walked off from their jobs. This is causing trouble for millions of travelers and adding to the country's economic woes. Trade union Verdi called on Lufthansa ground and security staff to go on strike at some airports. This included the country's busiest Frankfurt hub. On Thursday, around 650 flights were cancelled, leaving passengers stranded at the airport. Workers are demanding their rightful share from the company's record high profits. The German airline's labor director, however, says the firm has accommodated the union's demand several times. And now their strikes are harming the company and passengers alike. Lufthansa warned that recurring strikes are one of the factors behind its higher than expected operating loss in the first three months of this year. We are currently still a long way apart. Lufthansa wants to continue the real wage loss of recent years with an eternally long duration. Employees have actually had 10% less in their pockets in recent years than three years ago. Additionally, train workers began their strikes with National Rail Operator warning of travelers that it could run only a small fraction of its usual services. The walkout, which marks the beginning of a wave of rail strikes, is set to last for 35 hours. Led by Train Drivers Union, GDL, people are pushing for reduced working hours at full pay. I have very limited understanding because they all want to work less and get more money. At some point, the economy will collapse. If you want to distribute something, you have to work for it. This walkout is the latest in the string of strikes in Europe's biggest economy. High inflation and human resource crunch have led to rising demonstrations by people demanding better pay, especially in the transport sector. For all the latest news, download the Wii on app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.